you hear me, Yehudi? Huh? Integration into the armed forces. Mr. John P. Davis, the donor of this executive. Let's see here. Mr. Secretary, before the American Society of Newspaper Editors last week, President Truman issued a provoking challenge to all American publications when he said we must make ourselves heard round the world in a great campaign of truth. It is in the spirit of this challenge that Our World magazine has prepared this exhibit, which gives a graphic picture of democracy at work in a free nation. It is our hope that this exhibit will be shown here and abroad. And we are pleased to present it to you, sir, for such service as you may find for it, and with the hope that it will serve the cause of democracy and freedom throughout the world. It's yours. <laughs> David. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for this exhibit. I think you have done a fine job in carrying out that about which you've just spoken, not alone in your magazine, piece of this month, but also in this exhibit. I believe this is concrete proof that the president meant what he said in his executive order and that we in the defense establishment, despite mumblings from those who wouldn't understand, have been in about doing that which was expected of us in this field of equal opportunity and treatment. Time will show that the President's order meant what it said. Time will show that the Department of Defense has, I hope, intelligently implemented that order. I thank you for your cooperation. 